all, I want to thank all the participants. This is a, I had no idea there'd be so many people and so many services here, and it's wonderful that so many people are taking advantage of it. It's unfortunate that you need to take advantage of it. And but the reason you are is because the things aren't right in this country. And we're doing what we can in Congress to try to correct that. And we had a great victory this past week when the Supreme Court ruled that the Affordable Care Act was constitutional. That's important for you, it's important for me, it's important for this country. Because it will reduce the cost of health care, it will get community health centers in our city, it will be children who stay under insurance policy, it will be women won't be discriminated against with 47% higher cost than men for insurance. It means that preventative care won't have a copay, people will get the mammograms and the colonoscopies and the preventative shot. It means that you can't have lifetime caps on insurance. It means the insurance companies finally have somebody to tell them to play right and treat people fair and give people a chance. It's the right thing to do. It is a great victory. We're working on this. We passed the jobs bill for the first time. It was bipartisan. There were 57 votes against it, all Republican. So you wonder where the problem is in Washington? Everybody voted for it, but 57 Republicans. Think about that. We created a job bill, and we guaranteed students can go to school, and their loans won't be doubled. It'll stay at 3.4%. I hope you all, the young people, go to school and get a 3.0 so you can get a whole lottery scholarship. It's an advantage you got in Tennessee. But this program is the opportunity for health, health opportunities, for food, for clothing. You take advantage of it. Everybody here is doing good. This, as Jesse Jackson would say, give hope a chance. As Barack Obama would say, hope a change. Let's hope that things cool off and we have a, a better year. Anybody tells you there's not a, no such thing as global warming? They're wrong. And we need to get ready for it and save the planet. Thank you very much.